Doogie, where are you, boy? Oh, brother, what's going on? Doogie, are you down there? Um, I was going to suggest we play a little fetch, but I can't find your ball. Looks like you're occupied anyway. Okie dokie, maybe later. I just need to find... Wait a second! Are you looking for your ball? And you think you may have buried it somewhere? Now I get it. That's why it looks like a family of gophers moved into the backyard. Speaking of gophers, have I ever told you about the time I... Hey, Dukester, what's wrong? Oh, it's okay, boy. We'll find your ball. If we can't find it, we can always get another one. No need to cry. Hmm, I think I just made things worse. Oh, hello. I'm Billy Blue Hair, and this is my tearful dog, Doogie. Doogie can't find his favorite ball, and he's a little upset. There, there. Oh, you just licked up your tears. They taste salty, don't they? Have you ever tasted your tears when they've fallen into your mouth? That salty taste is kind of unexpected. But it's perfectly natural. So, why are tears salty? Ah, now that perked you up, didn't it, Doogie? Well, let's start on the inside. Now, our bodies are made up of some pretty cool parts. Skin, bones, a brain. All that good stuff that helps keep us ticking. But the one thing that makes up most of us is water. It's true, even our skin, bones, and brain have water in them. Rumor has it that over 60% of a person is made of water. Amazing. That means if I had a glass shaped like me, you could fill it more than halfway, about two thirds or so. And that's how much water is inside me and you. But that doesn't mean water is sloshing around from your toes to your elbows when you walk around. The water inside of us is spread throughout our bodies. Water is in your blood, your cells, and even your head. In fact, your brain is floating around in a fluid made up of mostly water. With all this water in your body, it's bound to mix with other things in your body, like minerals, such as calcium, magnesium, and salt. That's right, there's salt inside your body. In fact, there are about 40 teaspoons of salt inside the human body. Whoa, 40 teaspoons of salt can cover a lot of pretzels. Hmm, and french fries, and peanuts. Now we know salt tastes good on snacks, but why is it good in us? Well, our bodies need salt because salt helps deliver important nutrients to the parts of our bodies that need them. Salt also helps cleanse our bodies of toxins and fights all the bad bacteria that get inside us. But most importantly, salt also makes sure our brains work. That's right. Anytime you use your brain for thinking and talking, salt makes sure all the connections in your brain work properly. So, if we didn't have salt, our brains wouldn't work. But where did all this salt come from? How did all this salt get inside our body? Well, salt gets in our bodies from the things we eat and drink. And what goes in, as they say, must come out. So anytime a fluid leaves your body, it's bound to have salt in it. If you accidentally cut your finger and bleed, there's salt in that blood. Whenever you get hot and sweaty from running and jumping, it's guaranteed that there is salt in all that sweat. So that means whenever you cry, all those watery tears will have a little bit of salt too. And that, my friends, is why tears are salty. Salt enters your body from the things you eat and drink, which gets mixed in with all the watery fluid that's in your body. And then, when fluid leaves your body, like tears, salt comes along for the ride. Oh, Doogie, I was hoping that little factoid would take your mind off things. We'll find you another ball, boy.
Hey, look! There it is! Oh no! A family of gophers really did move into the backyard. And they have your ball. Oh well, it looks like we're going to have our little game of fetch after all. See you next time! Sweet!